Hello and greetings my friend. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Matt Schifferly with another video to help you be fit and live free. Today I'm exploring a warm-up technique that I've been utilizing with clients and myself for the past several months and it's really made a big difference in the ripple effects throughout all upper body exercises and calisthenics and even with external loads. A good warm-up does a lot more than just gets your body and nervous system in mind ready for the activity to come. It helps you build a bigger foundation or a broader, stronger foundation so you can build yourself up higher with the techniques and the exercises that you're trying to do in your workouts. What we're focusing on is the big movement of marrying your scapular movements, protraction, elevation, maybe even a little rotation, with your spinal flexion and extension. This helps to provide a lot more stability in your shoulders, but also much better alignment so every muscle in your entire upper body works a lot better for every upper body exercise you'll do in calisthenics. And the exercise in general is your lat pull downs. And this is a very basic technique it's nothing terribly crazy. It kind of mimics those lat pull downs you might do on bands or cables, but doing them on rings or suspension straps affords us some unique angles to resistance and the ability to work the back in a unique way. Specifically, I'm talking about utilizing our shoulder motion with a horizontal angle of resistance and then driving the arms down and back. Whereas with cables, you might get all that shoulder extension. But here at the bottom, we wanna have shoulder protraction where our shoulders are forward and spinal flexion. So then when we come up, our shoulders come back and our spine extends. You're not necessarily dropping your hips back down, although you can experiment with that, but we want kind of most of the motion in the thoracic and cervical spine a little bit, getting a bit of a stretch at the bottom, letting things come forward, but not like releasing the tension, keeping some tension in the lats, in the back of the shoulders. You're gonna feel a little bit in your triceps, but it's more in the back and getting that control of squeezing things together. Furthermore, you want your hands in front of your torso at the top, but your elbows behind. So it's not like a row where you're here, but your hands are gonna be much lower, kind of towards your waist. And so this way you get the full extension or a good degree of extension in your shoulder, but your hands are still in front of you because if my arms stay straight, I just kind of pull myself up and forward all my weight goes to my toes and then I lose all the resistance. So you wanna keep the resistance on the hands and you can fine tune it. If you move forward a bit, you're gonna have more resistance. If you back up a bit, you're gonna have less, but it's not supposed to be like the hardest back exercise in the world. Again, we're using it as a warm up technique. So just getting the blood flow into the muscles, get them engaged get the spine and the shoulder blades moving, feeling comfortable with engaging your back, getting that control of your shoulder blade motion along with your spine. And think of like touching your elbows or trying to touch your elbows behind you. You don't want to come up like this where my elbows are out and my shoulders still protracted and I'm all hunched up. You wanna have the sense of like extending yourself really, really whoop, back. And that type of extension, along with the scapular motion, gives you a much better sense of control and a stronger foundation for push-ups, dips, handstands, pull-ups, rows, curls, rear flies, basically everything you would do on suspension straps or progressive calisthenics. 10 to 15 repetitions is probably a good rep range to work with for your warm-ups, a couple of sets. And remember, this is objective-based training. So when you're warming up, it's not about how much you do, it's how much you need to do in order to achieve the objective. And here, we're just waking up the muscle, getting it fired up, getting the blood flowing, feeling like we're getting a better sense of control and autonomy throughout the entire back and the shoulders, being able to control the rotation and any slight movements or imbalances between your right and left side. So 
do as much work as you feel is necessary to do that, just not so much that you're exhausting and fatiguing yourself to <laughs> bring over into the actual bread and butter techniques that you're going to be doing in your actual workout. Check out my book, Suspension Calisthenics, for more on how to use suspension straps, which is basically a weight machine that fits in your pocket to level up your calisthenics game for building more muscle and strength. Thank you very much for watching. Likes and shares and all that kind of stuff is very much appreciated. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, be fit and live free.